when you when you look at a stem company you really need to start to think about what are your patients needs right if you have a patient that doesn't care what their incision looks like doesn't care how big a battery is doesn't care how long they have to charge doesn't care then it's really not that big of a deal but i don't think those patients exist right all my patients want what they want they want to have a small battery they want to have an easy charging you know system they want to last forever they want to work the same way it did as the trial. I mean, on and on and on and on. Mm -hmm. And really and truly, if we're going to do the best thing for our patients, and it's all about patient outcomes. Somebody mentioned the word functionality earlier. It's all about improving patient function. And if we're going to do that, then we owe it to our patients to get these products in our hands and get them under in our patients' backs. And so um, a couple of things about Medtronic. Obviously, Medtronic is a company that everybody knows. It's been around for years, has lots of products. Kaifo, we use and other things we do. But um, when it comes to their stimulation, they've made some new upgrades and some new things I think are worth talking about. So number one, the battery is the smallest implantable neurostimulant battery. It also has uh, some other technology we want to talk about, and they're going to be able to use Bluetooth technology as well. So what that means is that your rep is going to be able to move from over there. Sorry, sorry. You're going to be over there next time. It's like, it's like a ninja. But, but what happens in reality, folks, is when you're trying to decide what company to use, you want to make sure you have a really good relationship with the rep. I keep stressing that, but you do your little mechanical thing, mm -hmm. and it's all up to these guys to make your patients happy. And so I always tell them that they're dating me and they marry them. Well, I, I, I think too, great. the rep is an extension of yourself yep. from, you know, with any company you're working with, but especially with stimulation. I get a text every day from my rep with how the patient's doing. They talk to my patient seven days in a row. I talk to my patient the day I did the procedure. Yep. So you want to make sure you're comfortable with your rep, that they're hardworking, they're going to go out there and help your patient. Your patient's not going to do well if your rep's not on top of your patient and helping right. them out because right. you need to test different types of stimulation, right. different leads, all that. So my Medtronic rep's amazing down here down, or down in Florida. Your, your Medtronic rep's is amazing. So that's one thing I've always noticed about Medtronic is their reps are... Medtronic reps is snowboarding right now. There you go. <laughs> That's not amazing because we're here and he's there. Right? Right. <laughs> so um, too cold. So we talked about battery size. That's critical. We talked about rep. That's check, check, check. Now the next check is how fast can you recharge your battery? I have all these patients that say, yeah, yeah, we're going to have a date night tonight. I'm going to be watching a movie while I'm charging against the wall. And I'm like, that sounds really romantic. Like we yeah. just touch the wall. But uh, this one charges it in one hour. One hour, zero. It completes zero to 100% in one hour. My phone is That's good. faster than my, well, that's because no. you don't have an Apple phone. No. Okay, no more political conversation. <laughs> so the fact is, that's fast. I think that's the fastest in the business. And so that's important. So this easy recharge is important. But I also want to talk about this warranty. When you believe in your products, what do you do? You give it a warranty, right? You, I get a call about every week from another warranty about my car. I don't, I, I'm probably missing out on all kinds of warranties because <laughs> every week my car needs a new warranty. And so maybe it's my wife's car, who knows? But they, they call me. But when you believe in your product, you're going to put something behind it. You're going to put your name on it. You're going to put a warranty behind it. A nine-year warranty, I think that's the longest in the business. Is that is that right? By, by but most, of them, most of them are five years, right? So most of the companies guarantee their battery for five years. And so you might be thinking to yourself, like Apple thought, well, at the five year and one day mark, we're going to make sure our batteries fail, right? Yeah. It's not like that. So this company for nine years, they'll guarantee their battery and it's a 10 year battery essentially, right? And why is that important is because when you have to switch out the batteries for these patients, it's, it's a surgery. Yep. They have to go into the operating room. You have to <laughs> incision, chance of infection, everything that has to do with a surgery. It's not just like your phone, take out the battery, put one in. You know, I'm glad you mentioned that because the majority open. of infections we get when, when we do this is the battery pocket. Yeah. And you might think, oh, we're putting a lead in their epidural space. That's really no. scary. No. It's no, it's the battery pocket. There's a foreign titanium device in there. And I'm telling you that, that you have to really do a clean surgical procedure to keep those in there safely. Exactly. We've all had to have, you know, remove one for some reason or another. So the fact is, if you have a, a battery that's got a good last, you, it recharges fast, it's the smallest battery, you've already got a good thing and then you have a good rep on top of that, you're in good shape. So um, we're gonna talk a little bit about some other things here. So um, when it comes to the ability to program this, I, I've always feared that a rep would go into a room and be like, I know what I need to do, but I don't have the tools to do it, right? Mm -hmm. So um, one of the things we can talk about is this slide right here. Tell us about the DTM, Tommy. Yeah, so uh, in March of this year, we launched what's called DTM SCS therapy. Um, after 10 years of clinical work, research, um, we're super excited about the therapy. We have level one RCT data that we just launched at NANS um, showing 85% responder rate. 
Um, and of those 85% responding, seven out of 10 of the patients get profound pain relief. So we're talking 80% or better relief uh, using DTM SCS. Yeah, that's, so, that's awesome. So every company has something that, that differentiates and you would say this is what, as far as your programming, this differentiates. Yeah, I think we've talked a lot about that. I mean, yeah. programming, everybody's got their thing, right? Yep. There's a waveform, that's the big kind of buzzword in the, in the industry still to this day. But I think Dr. Stevens, you did a great job just really focusing in on the patient experience after the device is implanted. Yeah. That is something that you don't get to see every day, but us right. as reps get right. to see patients live with their remotes, right. live with their charging units, right. not being able to get an MRI scan. All of those things I think factor in to yep. a successful outcome yep. long-term. Yep. So. Yeah, and, and I don't we've mentioned, Doug is an interventional radiologist at Oklahoma City. Doug, I know you implant everything. What, what, what do you think the biggest advantage to your patients is about Medtronic? It seems to work better than the old system. So one of the things that I do that's uh, maybe unusual is I do competitive trials. Mm -hmm. So I put a lead in and I try three different systems out. I would try them all out if I could, just based on based on timing and risk of infection, et cetera. You can only keep the leads in for so long. But I do competitive trials and this system has changed the landscape a little bit. So patients, uh, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not vendor specific, you know, I'm agnostic as, you know, my, uh, my real goal is to make my success one patient at a time. So I put the leads in, I compete the trials. I tell them, you tell me what works the best. I don't care. And, you know, I, 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 the only thing I really do is I kind of pretty fastidious about the reps. I, I tell them, you know, don't try to undo influence the patient. You know, just, just play it straight, let the patient decide. And the biggest difference is, is where the rubber meets the road, the, the patient choice. It seems to be trending a lot more uh, toward the DTM system after it came out. And I use Medtronic. I've, I've used Medtronic systems before. I mean, I was in mean, 2005. So I've used a lot of them for a long time. And this is the best by far. Good. Good. Well, that's that's great feedback. So uh, those are the main things we really want to hit on with Medtronic. Because, again, there's a lot of SCS systems out there. So let's take a look and see how this stands up against this Biotros model. So let's go up somewhere around like the T12, L1, or, or L1, L2. Let's just take a look and see what we got. Another nice thing about Biotrust models, seriously, is that we don't put gloves. I guess we yeah. probably should wear gloves. Yeah. But um, let's see. Let me get it just a little angle towards me. So when you're doing this procedure, you want to have a good picture. You get your in-plate square. You want to be able to see your inner laminar window. And I'm going to come um, see what level, image that. Okay, so you want to start a little bit below where you're trying to enter, usually about, uh, you know, halfway down to the, to the next, uh, this level. So I'm, in this case, I'm going to see how my angle is, if I, I mean, it's going to be enough angle there. Let's try this here. You go down and you hit the lamina, just like any other time. And as you get close to the lamina, you'll get a feel for the bone on this, so it's, it's on solid bone. So now what I do is I redirect it into the space. And then I usually don't, but because of the purpose of this, I, I usually use my hands, I don't know about y'all, but for the purpose of this, I'm gonna try to drive this with a LOR syringe. You can see I have a good resistance still. Looks like it's going into space. You can see it pop in right there, boom. So I'm in the space. Oh, no CSF, good. That was a joke, there should be no CSF in Biotrust model. So then you come in with your lead. I guess we could lead. put it in if you really wanted it. Let's see where this, oh, I have to go just a tad further. In, in a real model, it would it would be in. It takes just a little bit more. How my lead fall? Normally, you would not pick up a lead off the floor to do a surgery. Was, is, no, that, is that part the of the infection thing we were talking about? Infection, inspection. The floors are really clean. We, floors are really we clean. wash our floors it's all the time. It's a five-second rule, right, Jay? It is. It is. Come on. <laughs> so now we, this is just needing to get just a little further into this space. Let's see if I can get that to drive. So it had a nice loss. You could, those of you who were here, you could see the, the air actually go in. Is it going in? It's still not going in. I think I'm, take, yeah. take a shot, see where it is. If you put it in cold. I mean, I just got a little off there. Let's angle just a little bit back. See that? And this is how regular trials go. Yep. Everyone knows that. Yep. Right off the bone, right in the space. Let's just try to walk this in. There you go. Let's just 
just not advancing for me. There's a little bit of a, an effort they had to make to get this to feel like a good loss of resistance. So I'm still at a good loss. I had to do this just a little bit further. Yeah. Let's see where that guy's going. So go. there we go. So I mean, it's advancing, but it's not perfect, but it's advancing. So you get the idea. So any of these leads, those of you who don't drive a lot, we have a little steering wheel here. They all drive about the same. I really haven't found a big significant difference. Mm -hmm. But what you're going to do is you're going to drive it up to wherever your rep tells you, somewhere around the T7 to T9 level, usually a right and left. And then as you would come out with, with just your needle. So I think that's a good question for a lot of people that don't do SES yet. Does it matter? Does it, is it ever different with DTM or do we always put it in the same spot? Yeah, so it, it is an anatomical placement. And so mm -hmm. it's between eight, eight, eight through 10 is where we're gonna place leads, we're gonna stack them. Yeah. And the nice thing about yeah. these leads, um, we kind of were talking about the, the stem wave leads earlier, but you know, once again, big leads gives you a lot of area. So one thing the rep will do on their iPad is they'll be able to change the leads and ask the patient, is this where your pain is? Is this yep. where your pain is? Yep. So as long as you get good coverage, T10, T8 to T10, yep. Yep. Um, they're able to do the rest from there. All, yep. We're just the technicians. Yep. We're yep. just putting the lead in there for you and the, the stimulator, yep. the rep does the rest of the work. So again, a lot of effort has been made to recreate the LOR, which was outstanding. Was outstanding. It was a little hard to advance the lead and we'll work on that, but um, but I think that's probably just a matter of this being the very first time we've used this. Mm -hmm. But um, again, when I when I go to labs and and it's funny because I'll teach somebody how to do an LOR, yeah. and then everybody after them can LOR from across the room, right? Yeah. Because their, their resistance loss is like the whole thing's wide open, the yeah. space is wide open. So I think we're still getting a good feel on this. So um, as you're starting to think about what you're going to train your fellows on, if you're the trainer, like um, we had an earlier conversation. I think this is a great option for you. As you're looking at your therapies, look at the things we've talked about today and find out who your Tommy Dyer is in the area. And uh, I think Medtronic has really come up with some good systems here. And so we, we really appreciate you being here today, Tommy. Awesome, thank and you. anything appreciate else you want to add, either one of you gentlemen? I think it's great. I think yeah. kind of like Doug said, you have to find out which one's works right for you. And the DTM is, is impressive. But the data's out there, uh, brand new system, brand new, I mean, getting down into the Bio, biologics of it, what they're actually doing. It's uh, it's something that I would have never thought of, mm -hmm. even what they're stimulating. So it's a uh, very impressive, very cool. Always see smarter people than me working on this. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of engineers. So we wanted to make sure today, like we said, that we brought some new things to you. And this is this is probably new therapy. The DTM is probably new to a lot of people. And so yeah, we didn't have national meetings this year to go around to booths. And hope, I mean, I, I'm sure we, we will again, but if we don't, we, we're committed to trying to show you guys through these combines what the newest and latest greatest things are. So we're honored that Tommy came out. I mean, it was only about a 30 minute drive, of course, but, but if he drives more than that to come <laughs> and see my trials. True. But the fact is, um, we're just thankful that they're here today. So again, look into your Medtronic products. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks.